Amen. Uh, before we go into testimonies this morning, and I want us to really give God thanks. I want us to spend some time to pray um, our the, the prayers. Amen. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, let's um, we'll use as a, the Psalm 65, verse 11 to pray. TPT says, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. I want us to unmute our mics and begin to pray that over ourselves and our nation. Um, for me, one of the scriptures that is really strong on my heart, praying for Nigeria, is Numbers 13. Um, just to caution that God, that's part of, we should not listen to the wailing of people, of certain people saying it is not possible for God to create costly change in this nation. And also the, the scripture on Passover, how the Lord told them to get ready is time for Passover and the Lord delivered them, deliver them from slavery. But before we go to any of that, let's pray Psalm 65 and just begin to declare to ourselves. When you are not noisy, can you unmute your mic and let us begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you because you once declares in Psalm 65 verse 11 that you crown my year with a bountiful harvest and even the art pathways overflow with abundance. Lord, I thank you for this and I declare over my life that Lord and over the life of my Lord, I thank you for my year with a bountiful harvest and even the art pathways overflow with abundance. In the name of Jesus, there is no In the name of Jesus, Master Abbas. In the name of Jesus, I that you come my year with goodness. You come my year with goodness. You come my year with goodness. That you know that I am not going to be upon this. In the name of Jesus, I am going to be upon this. In the name of Jesus, I am for overflowing strength, thank you for favor. Thank you for favor. Thank you for overflowing God, favor with the men. Thank you for showing my thank you for watching my car, my life, my capacity for overflow with the soul. I need the help of men, I need the help of nations. What's going on? Because it becomes possible. Thank you, O God, because of the remote. 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 Into our businesses, into our organizations, into our lives like never before. What seemed impossible, what had never been done before. We thank you, oh God, because we're taking the lead of these lives, taking the lead of them in our families, taking the lead of them in our nations, taking the lead of them in our offices, taking the lead of them in our lives. Thank you, God, because we become the representation of God's bounty and abundance in every respect. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God. Thank 
God, my God, Father. Yeah, I see you, Jesus, God, in your name. God, I thank you, Jesus, for my God. Jesus, Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Jesus, precious name of praise. Amen. All right, this one we're going to take testimonies. I want you to think deep. I just, what as what are you grateful to God for? What has the Lord done for you? If you have a testimony, you can raise your hand. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Anyone that has testimony, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Help us come. Call up a shut up. Help us come. Help us come. Amen. Stamaka, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I, you know, when I raised up my hand, the song that came to my heart is Do it all, do it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Do it all, do it all. I've learned. To depend upon his word. That's my testimony. Amen. To it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. To it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. I, the, the testimony is not yet complete. But I know God is doing something. He's working a miracle. He's doing something. He's changing everything. The things that look like it's, it's done is it's like a shame to us. The Lord is turning around for our good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, he will do it all. I will continue to rest upon his promises. I'm just mm -hmm. specifying in advance for what God would do in the life of my husband and in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. That is such a testimony. Sister Ayo. Okay, good morning, Pihai. Good morning, good morning. family. Okay, I want to thank God for um, this platform. I want to bless God for PI life. I want to bless God for all the leaders here. I, I, I call this place um, a well, you know, a fountain, yes, where I drink from every morning. And I want to bless God for this. Um, today is my 15th wedding anniversary. <laughs> yes, so I, I'm grateful to God because when I look back at how we started, you know, just yesterday, I was just laughing. Because the way my husband dotes on me is as if we just got wedded yesterday. Wow. And I know that this is not the way we started, you know. I, I knew there were seasons. There was even a particular time when I had made up my mind that let's just call this thing off. It's not, it's not working again. But yesterday, you know, I was just in awe of God. I was just meditating. And the way he was just going about everything, I said, God, this can only be you. And I'm here to say thank you, Jesus. That's my testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy wedding anniversary, style. We celebrate you and the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. My love to your husband. My love to him. You know, God will bless you both in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Sister Titi Lola. Okay. Good evening, P.I. Good, uh, sorry. Good morning, P.I. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I just want to bless the name of the Lord for his uh, faithfulness, for his mercies and his love. You know, um, 
I remember, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday, we're told to pray about having the experiential knowledge of God's love, as mm. that prayer was just for me, because God has been taking me through that journey of um, understanding and then experiencing his love. And, you know, it showed me as in almost like uh, um, immediately, I just started seeing God's goodness and favor in his, in, in how he dealt, in, in how he's, as he had worked with me, as in mm. this week, he provided for me in a way that I didn't even expect. I only just said the word, I said, God, uh, if truly, yes, I need to experience this. I want you to just provide this for me. And it came through. Mm. in an unexpected and unimaginable way so i want to give god and return all the glory back to him i also want to thank god for my husband my husband is on a particular project as in in all your states and this project is worth uh, it's it's what as in, it's a lot is a whole lot so on the project there's a particular um as a the particular person that is just like um someone that's it is snitch someone that just wants to bring him down so that probably i don't know so that the project probably will be taken away from him so there was something uh it was meant to confirm you know they started the project and then um, there was a work that was done so the measurement it was just like um that he needs to check and confirm that it, it can't just um, just say that it is okay they've already built it it's a wall so they've already built the wall and um, he now requested that a surveyor comes and then check it and just check if it is is in alignment with what is already in the plan because the project also has to do with the government so if it's what is already in the plan and also what they have done not knowing that this man has gone ahead because he just planted people around to just keep watching and just mm -hmm. then trying to give him information so that he can go and give the clients an information so he has already gone to spread the information that ah that they've done a wrong job they are going to pull down all the wall and all of that <laughs> and it was just like where did they get that information from and even what they've just done it, it, it's it's over 30 million already and it was like where is that coming from from. So thankfully, he didn't even know that um, he, my the other person that they are on the on the um, job together will be coming down to Ibadan because they have just said that oh that they won't be on the on the uh, site that week though there's someone there but the two core people. So he was just led by the spirit of God to call the other his partner that please go to Ibadan today, not even knowing that the clients will be going there. And also the surveyor too will be coming. So by the time he got there, the other man has already started spreading the message. Ah, they won't be able to come because they know the work they have done. This, this, that. But thankfully, the other, his partner got there and he couldn't even talk. And at the end of the day, we just received the news that there's nothing wrong with what they have done, that it is okay, it's aligned with what is in the plan, the government's plan. I just want to return all the glory to God because this is something that God gave us and um, we have been working through. And what my husband will always say is that <laughs> this is, it is God that is on this project. Maybe he doesn't know who he's dealing with. If he can and fight God, then maybe you should go ahead. So I just want to thank God for this victory, for this breakthrough. Thanks Amen. be to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. God bless you, sister. And the Lord will perfect it in Jesus' name. Sister Bokumi. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, everybody. Um, firstly, my testimony is from When Friends Pray. Um, coming to When Friends Pray, I was extremely tired. I was exhausted. In fact, <laughs> I was just tired. I almost missed it, but I went. And down the line, and Pastor Dami called me out and told the lady to um, minister to me that God had a word for me. And down the line, through the word, I said, laugh. And I felt so light. It was, I don't think I've laughed so hard like that before. It was actually <laughs> interesting. And even followed the following week, I just started to laugh for things that seemed that they were not funny. I would just be laughing. But then I really want to thank God because my brother was supposed to get married. And my brother got married last weekend. In fact, this year we had spent a lot. 
So we're really trusting God for the money to complete everything. So we had to travel. Um, on Mo for Monday, it was just like the money that we need for the flight to come. We had, I told my mom that it was manna because whatever money that we needed for the next day, it will come the exact amount. It was very interesting. Like we just went with faith. Even when we traveled on Wednesday, it was with faith. And we went, we traveled on Wednesday, we slept because everybody was tired. We woke up the next day and <laughs> the money that my mom saw in her account, she was dazed. She didn't even know, she didn't have to borrow. She didn't have to take any loan. Every wow. single thing, it was, it was just like, you wake up, you have a list. You have a list for Thursday. You wake up, the money for that day, that's what enters your account. The next wow. day, Friday, the money for Friday, that's what enters wow. your account. The next day, Saturday, that's what, my, that's what enters your account. Like that, like that, like that, like that. It was just amazing. I just want to thank God because mm -hmm. he provided. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for that. He's a good, good father. Amen. Sister Sharon, congratulations to your family and your brother. Sister Sharon, over to you. Um, good morning. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, so, um, I had to travel for work on Sunday and because um, I'm not going back to the UK, I'm going home for Christmas. I had a lot of different things to pack for people and so on and so forth. Um, but one of my cases, I was just like, okay, God, please I basically was like, God, please look after my suitcases for me. Okay, so I arrived um, at my final destination. I had to transit. So there were two airlines. I took one airline to um, one location, and then I had to take another airline to the final destination. So I got to the final destination, you know, really tired. It was a long journey. Got there, get to go to the, to pick my bags, and I only have one bag. I'm like, oh, sorry, what is going on? So of course I went to see the airline. They were like, the people, well, I wasn't even the airline. They, they basically were like, this happens all the time with this particular airline and so on. So I should come back. First of all, when this happens, typically the airline is supposed to bring your bag to you. Yeah. They said, well, no, you have to come back to the airport. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to be at work. At, anyway, it was just long. Anyway, fortunately um, on Tuesday, so meanwhile, in the midst of all this, I was just like terrified because of all the things that were in my bag. I was just like, God, please. And I was panicking so much, but then God really just calmed me down. I think it was on the Tuesday and said, just be at peace, you know. So I, 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 I really appreciated that. And one of my colleagues also just favored me. She was like, she'll go with me to the airport. So, and then we, so we got into a cab and the cab was like, do you want me to bring you back? And I was thinking, I don't know how long it's going to take me in there, but he was like, I'll bring you back. So we literally got to the airport. As soon as I got there, the guy who, who told me about the airline and she gave me the ticket and told me to come back on Tuesday was like, it's there, it's there, it's there. So I ran to the, um, where the baggage, you know, are. And I noticed that my suitcase had actually split open, but they had, somebody had taken the time to sell or tape this thing fully back, wow. you know. And I was just like, God, like everything in that thing that I was just concerned about could have just gone missing. Unfortunately, when I got back to the hotel, everything was there. And, I, you know, I may sound like a minor thing, but I was going to be really stressed out if I didn't have my bag. And I'm just really so grateful to wow. God that he cares, even for the little things. Somebody literally took the time to sellotape the bag in place. <laughs> and everything has been there. There's nothing that I've, that I've noticed that has been missing. So I'm really just really thankful to God that he cares for even those things thank you oh, amen i feel like for me is how god can be for lack of a better word it's, it's just an extra god like just so you know that it's not just about bringing the bag even if anything happens i god will keep it safe that's just beautiful amen. It's open and then somebody's who, who does that father we're grateful amen sister Mudupe. Good morning, P.I. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. I miss this our voice, too. It's great. <laughs> it's great to be back. Thank you very much. Um, I want to give God all the glory for, for coming through for me, for coming through for the embassy, and for giving us um, favor, strength, and most especially for being her peace. Mm -hmm. Please hold on. Um, 
no problem. I uh, will wait for uh, Mr. Mojukwe. Mr. Messi, you can go ahead. She's out of work. The time zone is blessed. All right, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning. PI. I have two testimonies. First, I want to thank God for Johnny Mercy's that he has blessed me with in the course of the past three to four weeks. I've seen God pampering me all around um, and his favor over me. So to, to this end, I return all glory to him. Yeah. And then my second testimony, I also want to thank God for this prayer platform and community and also for when friends pray. I thank God for his word because I am a testimony of really someone who, is, who has just been experiencing God's love through the expression wow. of overflow of joy. And even in recent situations where I should have... Um, probably reacted otherwise um i thank god because until recently the, the lord reminded me i had enrolled into the school of god's holy spirit since the 19th january 2021 and very recently i was wondering if i'm even graduating classes in this school of holy spirit and yesterday um someone told me uh, something that would have made me feel offended, basically just exposing some things around me where uh, one, at one of the places where I work. And, you know, I was told about certain rumors going about concerning me. And I was just so calm. I had self-control. In fact, I was thinking to myself, why am I not reacting? Um, why am I not taking offense? I was just having all these thoughts about how I've just progressed. And I know it's the fruit of the Holy Spirit in manifestation, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, like the gentleness, everything mentioned in Galatians 5, 22 to 23 uh, was just being shown to me that yes, the, the Holy Spirit is at work in me and I am graduating classes. I'm moving up in my faith. So I really just want to praise the Lord for all this. <laughs> in Jesus name, I give thanks. Amen. 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 That's so good. I love it. The school of the Holy Spirit. I love it. Sister Mudukwe, you can go ahead. Okay. Thank you, P.I. So as I was saying, sorry, I had to receive a call. Yeah, I'll do it quickly. Yeah. First, I want to thank God for the embassy that we were able to conclude um, the official visit of the vice president to Vietnam yesterday. It was very, very challenging and demanding, but thank God, God came through with strength, with fortitude, with everything required. God gave us what we needed. And I wanted to thank God because I see that as the favor of the Lord. Usually even, even missions with established, you know, established authorities and, 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 and infrastructure usually don't even have the opportunity, but we were small, Yet God came through. This um, visit should have happened more than two years ago, but it so happened that, you know, God gave us the favor that he, had, he was happening in our time. And for all the, you know, amazing things that happened through this visit, even with our host authorities, I just want to give God all the praise. And I want to also give God praise, you know, for granting me favor to be an integral part of those who made it possible because, you know, it can be very, very challenging, but God came through more importantly for peace. God gave me peace to be able to stand in my place, do my part, pray for the leadership here, that God will give them wisdom. And, you know, he, he came through for us and he helped us. It looked quite seamless, but even missions that are bigger don't usually pull it off, even without some difficulty here and there, but God came through for us and gave us favor. I have testimonies about my family. I just want to thank God because things are much better than they were one year ago when I came, but I'll give a, a fuller testimony at another time. I just want to give God thanks because this year, 2022, has been the year of evolution and has given me favor on every side. I give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank God for that. Quickly, before I call um, Mr. Bank, I'll call Mr. Jibola because she's about to board. Go ahead. Put the mask. Hi everyone. Good morning. Sorry, can we be a bit loud where I am? I just wanted to give a quick testimony. I had a flight this morning and <laughs> the driver just kept getting it wrong around the airport. And when I got to the airport, I got there at 9.05. 
but the flight was at 10 You're o'clock. So by the time I got to the counter, there was literally no one there. So I just asked, I was like, oh, Egypt Air. Like, oh, they've closed, they've gone home. I didn't even have time to panic because I was also on the prayer call. And I was just, I, I didn't even, you know, and I, I just saw this black guy in the baggage area and I was just like, oh, Egypt Air, who can I speak to? And he just said, oh, speak to those people. I went to some man and he just looked at me and the lady was like, oh, it's closed. They left at nine o'clock. Um, you know and um, i just said oh but i don't have any bars i thought if you don't have any bars you can go through 45 minutes before and the man just looked at me he was like what passport do you have i told him he now looked at me said and you have no bars i was like yeah i don't have any bars he said okay i'll call the l she called the airline and literally he was like okay no problem i'll, ch- I'll check you in checks me in and I won the plane, <laughs> you know, wow. so I just, it was just an amazing testimony because literally there was nobody there, but well, that just showed you that the, it was just the favor of God and just in line with what we prayed, prayed this morning. I just really want everyone to just tap into that, that God will crown your year with his goodness. Even where things have not been working out, they will begin to work out because that's God's promise to us that he will crown our year with his goodness and our past will drip with abundance. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> wow, so good. Safe I love it. We are having instant testimony about the crowning of the year. And I'm excited to see what God will do with every other thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Amen. Somebody declare by yourself, the Lord will crown my year with goodness. And even where things are not working, where it is hard, it will drip with abundance and God's goodness. Amen. All right, Sister Banke. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to thank God for being in this space. I, I, I think I started um, joining the call this year. I can't remember when exactly. Um, and I'm most grateful for the things that God has done for me, but I, I they were not my prayer points, if I can put it that way. So I've been trying to change roles for a while now. And I've been applying and applying and I haven't been even getting anything in terms of maybe call back for interview or anything. So I think it was around September that I was just let to just give and I did. And I still haven't gotten anything, but it's almost like I've just been interviewing back to back, honestly, that my friends are just laughing at me now. Wow. Um, and I've done like six interviews between October and now. Wow. Um, and I'm just grateful. I'm most grateful because it, it, it to somebody else is like, you've not gotten the job. Why are you thankful for? But for me, it's progress. Um, and I'm really, really thankful to God. Even somebody um, at the global head in my office had to tell me that, come on, I can see your name on like three different um, roles that you're interviewing for. I'm sure something is going to come through soon. And I'm like, okay, I'm hopeful too. And um, finally, on the things God has done for me that I'm not even thinking about, because I've been fixated on changing rules and I'm having sort of friction on my current role, but I've, I've just ignored it, so to say. Um, so I'd done a project earlier in the year, in January, and I'd literally complained about it. Like they're just using me for admin work in country while the global guys are just getting all the glory. Uh-huh. Um, and I just got an email like, last week or two weeks ago saying oh this thing this project you've done in january you had a cost savings of two point something million dollars please log it against yourself and let me know when it's done and that's me coming on from a target of i i'm like 17 percent of my target for the year and now i'm 300 and something percent of my target for the year and just like that like me that have been worried about my relationship with my boss and how that's going to affect me and my performance review. And just like that, I'm the one that everybody's buzzing and saying, oh, banker, how did you do this? How did you do this? How did you do this? And I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful to God. I'm grateful for this platform. I'm grateful for the renewal of my mind that is happening. I'm grateful for my growth. Um, I just want to thank God. Thank you. Wow. Amen. Glory to God. Like what? <laughs> but again, like that year to date, I, have you done your projection for next year? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> wow. Do not be afraid though, because God that did this will sort that out as well. You know how it is mm-hmm. that you're going on performance like this. I'd be like, whoa, come on. She can do it. 
Let's do it. Amen. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, God will crown your year with goodness bank, exactly like what Jeep said. Because one thing that came to my mind when Shen was those um people, the 10 lepers that came to God, and God said, Go and show yourself. And only one came back to say thank you. And God said, When there 10 of them, in fact, another translation made it look like God was angry, low-key angry, like when not tell people that I pray for now, how come the only one that came back? And because you had come back, the Lord is going to re you return with testimonies. I remember prophecies about your work, about promotion. And I pray the Lord will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. And truly, we're thankful to God for this platform, for growth. And the Lord God will increase your heart desires in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Alfred, I'm loving this last minute testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I I want to thank God for this platform. Amen. I want to appreciate God because uh, some two years ago or uh -huh. last year, there was this prophecy uh, which was said concerning me about having two keys. Mm. Uh, I I really actually have that video on my phone, and sometimes I just play it, and I'm like, wow. This is this is God already, already in short. God has actually brought it to pass, and one wow. of the keys is the key of uh, of actually traveling overseas, and uh, the second key is the key of uh, having a car. To wow. the glory of God, I've 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 had a car, I've traveled, and I'm still going to have more and more cars. To the glory mm -hmm. of God, I actually want to thank you because uh, the Lord has favored me. Uh, round about this year, the Lord have have taken me from places where I've never imagined myself to be, and uh, the Lord is, you know, in a place where you get to, you are so new, and it just happened that everything is just working for your good. It's and you're like, what what exactly am I doing that is bringing? So you are not doing anything. There's really nothing special that you're actually doing, but. It just happened that just the little uh, words you say, the little statements you make, and it's like, oh yeah, that's really good. And then things just begin to work out as, I just wow. want to really thank God for favor and about on my workplace. Uh, uh, the businesses are started coming in for me and my management is happy. Everybody is happy and they're like, oh, Alfred, this is really good. You are doing very well. I really want to thank God for, for his promises that is going to be father to me and and is going to see to my growth and this year i want to thank god for the growth of uh, faith in him like he had, my faith in god has really heightened this year like so many things i don't necessarily have to worry anymore i just trust him and believe him and he has always come true for me and uh, right here is my wife and my child we are actually still awake and oh. uh, just in that, so just be here for Thursday testimony. I really want to bless them, the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God strengthen you. And it's just amazing. I think I remember that prophecy. It must have been uh, two years old. I don't know if it was last year, two years, rightly said. And the Lord will perfect everything that concerns you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, Sister Mary. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So I want I want to thank God for his goodness. Um in maybe July of this year, I had this nudge to share my experience working in my family business. I've been very focused on just making sure the business thrives. But this nudge was not to talk about the business, but to talk about our experiences working together. So I started writing all these posts on LinkedIn, just simply sharing like every week. It was almost like getting a download, like, okay, talk about this today, talk about this today. So I was just sharing. Um, I was like having a journal um, in public. And I want to thank God because, I mean, I, I didn't think much of it, but I think even this Sunday, I have a speaking engagement. I was just invited. Like, people are so interested in the topic. I didn't realize people were going through some of the same challenges that I've had over the years. Somehow, they look to me and think I have solutions. I'm like, um, 
no, I was just sharing my problems. But I want to thank God for this stage. I, I never expected anything of this sort um, to come out of my experience working with my family. But um, I mean, I'm now in the process of planning a family business conference. There's all these things coming out of just that um, one um, it was a sort of decision to obey what God had asked me to do. So I'm just here to give him the thanks for um, this new stage. Amen. Wow. Amen. I will thank God for all the testimonies. We thank God. You know, this morning, the Lord was saying to me, thank the Lord for this platform. And I knew about, I, I didn't know how many, but I knew it was saying to me, you will hear people also thank God for it. I just want to thank God because it's not just, about giving i've been so blessed amazing testimonies prayers even when we pray the lord says i i pray the prayers like i'm done is just using my mouth to lead the prayer so i'm also partaking of what god is doing here and that's just been the goodness of god how the lord has sustained us this year i can't even explain it you know um it's a year we launched it's a year that we got the mighty network um, it's going to be here in February that we launch. But just thank God for the steps. I thank God for developments that is to come in different areas the Lord is highlighting. I'm just really grateful to God. And I pray the Lord God will continually strengthen us in Jesus' name. Amen. So this morning, I'm going to do a whole call as we end. Lord, I thank you for Nikki. I thank you for Abbasid Day. I thank for the Banke. I thank for the Beast. I thank for Jibola. I thank for Mark. I thank for Beauty. I thank for Bukumi. I thank for Bustayo. I thank for Caroline, for Celestina, for Chibi, for Chidima, for Christine, for Ayo. I thank for Dorcas. I thank you for Alfred. I thank for Gwemi. I thank for Gladys. I thank for Grace. I thank you for Lola Bass. I thank for Amit. I thank for Ibuko. I thank for Joycey. I thank for Kiki. I thank for Kofo. I thank for Christabel. I thank for Miriam. I thank for Mary. I thank for Messi. I thank for Mudupe. I thank you for Lubukala. I thank you for Odidi. I thank you for Olaidi. I thank you for Ola Jumoke. I thank you for Ola Sumbo. I thank you for Ola Funke. I thank you for Lumidi. I thank you for Ola Folakemi. I thank you for Ola Gbimike. I thank you for Ola Tubiloba. I thank you for Ola Tosi. I thank you for Mobalaji. I thank you for Motayo. I thank you for Okwe. I thank you for Itoke. I thank you for Iemi. I thank you for Pasi. I thank you for Peace. I thank you for Pleasant Surprises. I thank you for Postana. I thank you for Queen Iwo. I thank you for Davis. I thank you for Sharon. I thank you for Timi Sola, I thank for Spring Lily. I thank for Stella. I thank for Sumbo. I thank for Tejumola. I thank you for Timi Tokwe. I thank for Timi Tokwe Ugo Dola Boy. I thank for Timi O. I thank for Titi Lola. I thank for Tuke. I thank for Tola. I thank for Tulu Adiola. I thank for Tui. I thank for Ugo. I thank you for Mata. I thank for Williams Obi I thank for Zena. I thank for myself. I thank you for everyone on this call. And Lord Jesus, as we have said our names out loud, we will return saying that indeed Psalm 65 verse 11 was our inheritance. Indeed, Ephesians 1 is our inheritance. Indeed, we will cross into the year with clarity, clarity of vision, clarity of purpose, knowing exactly what to do. And Lord, where things have been difficult, we shall see that indeed there was abundance in the name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful. And because we know that multiplication triggers abundance because we know whatever we appreciate, appreciate. We know that we'll return the testimony. Every testimony that is, that is still waiting for perfection, we thank you in advance that we know that it's been perfected in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I want to give you instruction ahead of us that today. I want you to begin to ask the Lord, Father, give me a word for someone before Saturday. Um, this morning, the Lord was saying we're going to be doing prophetic activations. And we're going to be asking the Lord, Father, give me a word. You don't know who the person is. Just begin to ask. pray for somebody. Just pray. For, just begin to pray in the spirit. I'm just begin to pray ahead of Saturday. I'm going to ask the Lord for a word for Saturday and clarity for yourself. Those two things, a word and clarity. And I trust the Lord to visit us mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and have a blessed day. See you tomorrow. Remember, all the other watches will resume on the 9th of um, January, which is going to be our fifth of purpose. So see you tomorrow by 6 p.m. God bless you.